There's Alvarado. Patient approach from Georgia Tech on their possession. And the extra pass pays off. Georgia Tech playing a man to man. They're, they're not really as effective in their ball screen stuff. Nice finish there. Early on this year, coming off of the bench. Deep three, Alvarado to beat the shot clock, and it goes. Are you kidding? That's from Brooklyn. Yeah, he got a little, little something to play. Shot clock winding down, paying attention. Khalid Moore, nothing gives. So he finds Alvarado. Found by Khalid Moore for Georgia Tech. Jose Alvarado on the drive and the finish, and they really missed him when he was out after entering the A. The shot block from James Banks, one of the best shot blockers in the country. And the run out, Jose Alvarado the scoop. Our Heels fans made a wide deci wise decision, not waiting for the first basket to take a seat. Might be standing for a while. Alvarado up for Banks with one arm. Said that, I'd be thinking it's in Carolina's favor, but no, nope, Alvarado cuts up the defense, goes upstairs. Oh, a little slippery with the handle, and now the shot clock winding down. Alvarado sees it, matched up with Francis, a deep one. Got it! Jose Alvarado. Mark point guard feel, shot clock winding down. This is what Georgia Tech was devoid of for some time due to the injury of Alvarado. Alvarado on the drive, counted, and the foul. And he has nine early on. How easy this path is. Alvarado almost kind of gave the defense, uh, got them on their heels. A guy like Moses Wright, what he's been able to bring to this team in his junior season after nearly 13 again. Alvarado just picked it from Rush. And the follow is there. I mean, check it out. Look at the intensity of Alvarado. Gets the steal. He ain't done yet. To the 10. And the putback. All Georgia Tech. First lead of the night, his 15th three of the season. Alvarado tries to swing it around the banks. I think they're playing very aggressively. They haven't turned, they're not turning the ball over. They're making good plays. Look at Alvarado. And that's a perfect example. You don't have to play necessarily. The same guys don't have to be the stars every night. You get different contributions. Whoever's playing well, they're the ones who get the minutes. Usher kept it alive. Alvarado out front. There's a the field goal for Jose Alvarado. As soon as Georgia Tech scored on their men offense, Mike Bray changed it up. Deep three from Jose Alvarado, and he drills it. Leads to points. Jose Alvarado, top of the key. Splash. Young man played his high school ball. Times Tony Bennett says he tries to do too much, but in his role like he's done tonight, he's been terrific. Beat by Alvarado there, and the junior cashes in for two. Into Braxton Key, he lost the basketball. Georgia Tech has it. Alvarado, a three. No good, yo, it dropped! Georgia Tech high. has to hurry inside the banks. It's not really what you, oh, that'll do it! Count it, plus the foul. Probably smaller coming at him. Just hands in the air. Don't initiate any contact. Don't try and block the shot. Just let him make the layup. Just let him make the layup. Out the double team of steal. Alvarado going up and cut the basket, the blocking foul. Pass to the corner. Ellen, double team. And the Jackets take it away, and they're running. Bounce to Cole, takes it up. State uses its final timeout. Fractions of a second differentiating the game clock and the shot clock. Khalid Moore with the slot. Jose Alvarado towards the horn, gets it off and gets it in. Jose Alvarado. Largest lead of the night comes at the break at 44 to 22. Coast to coast, Yellow Jack is in control. Colorado made three of his seven attempts. The remainder of the team only made one out of 11 three-point field goals. Alvarado pounding it in there. He's playing the best ball of his season right now. And he didn't like, you know, the shimmy, guitar shimmy from Jose <laughs> Alvarado either. 
Alvarado off the window for two more. But all they've done is make Jose Alvarado mad. He took one in the chops on the last possession. Just a conversation for the bench, the finish. Well, James Banks, when he transferred here from Texas a couple years ago, he got really, really close to associate head coach Eric Reveno. Improvement in January. Looking for ACC win number six, Alvarado. It's his first three of the game. Now Banks stuck with it a little bit. DeVoe over to Alvarado for three. Nails it. Start this game getting whatever they want. Georgia Tech. <laughs> Alvarado, the floater, score the goal and a foul. Well, I think, you know, Jim Beheim looking for some offense early, getting him in there and Sabibay out. Alvarado, some straight music. Taken by Gerard. Not a good pass into the middle of that zone by Burrow. Poor pass at the other end. Alvarado's going to pull it up for three. Ah! Follow from right. Shot clock at five. Now Jose Alvarado at the horn. Gets the roll. Jordan Usher, the USC transfer. Alvarado, got it. No one seed is going to want to see them in round number two. It's that terrifying. would be a nightmare. Hey, the lob from Alvarado to Banks. So Vasilovic back in. He and Likes in the backcourt with Magusti. And Alvarado steps in front of Likes and lays that in. People right now, he is not pleased with the way his team has handled the basketball, especially in transition, or how they've handled Jose Alvarado on the defensive end. He's in and making a difference. Well, he's making a difference, and he's made a difference here on every possession. Banks has been outstanding. And Moses does it. 